The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. This is the Eagles Sports Network. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, alongside our Food City Player of the Game from Game 1 of Carson Newman's doubleheader sweep of the Concord Mountain Lions. That is starting pitcher Emma Frost. Emma, I think if anybody were to bet that it would take you seven games into the season to collect your first decision. <laughs> <laughs> Long odds yeah. for that, but a high level effort here to open the doors to the Vic. Seven strikeouts, mm -hmm. uh, a dominant force in the circle, uh, really uh, no spots of bother, no troubles, troublesome situations. What clicked for you today after a roller coaster of the first three weeks for you in the orange and blue? You know, I mean, I'm sure it's obvious that I didn't really get a very, you know, good fall I couldn't you know practice with the team or anything because of you know NCAA rules which is understandable you know but I was working on my own and all of that but uh, finally when I got to come in in January and work with the team and get to know everybody it was just awesome because the atmosphere is great they were so so welcoming and I loved it um, but today you know it took me <laughs> took me a while because you know in the fall yes I was working on my own but it just being in that atmosphere mm -hmm. with the team and just you know they again like I said they were so welcoming and they were understanding with me when I wasn't at my best these past what seven games yeah. um, but today I just came out and I told myself you know just come out with uh, big energy you know even if you are throwing because I didn't know if I was throwing or not but I was just like even if I'm in the dugout not playing you know just cheer everybody on just have a big uh, energy and you know so it, it helped out and worked in my favor so uh, defense certainly played well uh, uh, but behind you uh, yes. And I'm probably going to get the two games mixed up a little bit, but Sierra Rogers makes a spectacular grab and right to rob, rob a player of a base hit. Mm -hmm. Hayden Dye was a black hole oh, yeah. uh, at, at short. Uh, how much confidence? Obviously, you've been around the block a time or two. <laughs> yeah, uh, five, but, years, <laughs> five years doing but, this. But <laughs> uh, quality effort behind you, backing you up. Yes, when you weren't sir, striking yes. people out. Yes. Um, the biggest thing I can think of in that first game was Sierra Rogers. You know, she's another pitcher, so she understands, you know, that when there's a, a blooper or something hit, you know, go and catch it, give give your all to get that ball, and she definitely did. Um, Brooke Matazowski yeah. at third base and uh, Macy at first and Hayden, uh, who was at second that game? Um, it would have been Kennedy. Yes, Kennedy, Kennedy's awesome at second. But all of them, you know, their effort in the uh, field when we're on defense is amazing. But I think that them just constantly cheering me on and, you know, just saying, come on, Emma, you got it, when I'm ahead in the count or even behind in the count, it's just ama it's awesome. Felt like it was complimentary softball for the first time all yeah. season. Offense got leads early in both mm -hmm. games. Uh, clearly pitching uh, yeah. did its thing and you played air free until the seventh mm -hmm. uh, of the nightcap how do you carry that forward uh, playing Kentucky State first time the Eagles have ever faced the thoroughbreds in program history right well um, so from a as a pitching standpoint coach Holly is one phenomenal pitching coach I love her you know in the past we didn't really have pitching coaches but you know it was kind of like self-driven but with coach Holly you know she's hasn't had a meeting here actually the other day and uh, pitchers and catchers are there and we were like sat down and we were like what are we going to do to fix it you know and so since then I think it was like last week we've been running a mile every day and yes it sucks <laughs> I'm a big girl it sucks but but <laughs> but it helps so and coach Holly knows like because she was a pitcher and she knows and I, we've had conversations you know my stamina obviously is not where it needs to be but it's a lot better than the beginning you know and it's not just me it's all the other pitchers we have actually an app that we are loading everything on and it's really just holding each other accountable sure. and I th honestly think that's what has changed I think that our energy was up today we were a lot more there in the moment if that makes sense um, so again like I said the running the holding holding each other accountable has just been amazing all right, Emma yeah. Frost, thanks for the time. Congrats yeah. on the win. Thank you. Appreciate it. That is senior pitcher Emma Frost. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, and this is the Eagle Sports Network.